what's going on guys welcome back to the channel for a brand new video hope you're having a great day we're back with the tl and we got a very big announcement if you make it to the end of today's video it has nothing to do with you everything to do with me but a huge announcement do not skip it's gonna be somewhere at the end of the video we're gonna make a nice long video for you guys today all right keep watching sorry for no post in the last week it rained last week on the day that i was free to take the car out today's video we're starting off with some car prep for tomorrow which is the big announcement for the end of the video so stay tuned so i just got off work we got the rest of the night it's 6 p.m right now i got a decent list of things i need to address with this car first of all we got the bling back on the best wheels for the TL on bags. Meister S1s, baby. So you know it's a special occasion tomorrow because we got the bling on and sleeper mode deactivated. <laughs> so like I said, we're starting off the video with some prep because tomorrow we are taking this car on its first long drive, like two hour plus drive, boosted. Fingers are crossed that everything goes smoothly and this does not leave me stranded because that'll be horrible. First problem that we have, guys, you're not gonna be able to see it, but those shift cables are awfully close to our downpipe. And if the shift cables are burned because of the downpipe, that is gonna be the cause for why it's so stiff to shift. Problem B is that the shift cables actually twist before they go into the firewall. The mechanic that did my clutch job, one of his technicians, when they put this back together, he noticed that they twisted those lines. And so that could be causing some tension on one of the cables and making it harder to shift. We're also going to take apart this little unit right here, get some grease on it, because even when I first bought this thing, it was fairly stiff. And so I wanna be able to smack through those gears quickly. What's this? We got a little receipt. Maybe, maybe that was the whole holdup right there. Honestly, we probably could just take some slack out of here. So we'll mess with this first. Starting with the shifter cables, we'll go down the list for the first like three to four minutes of today's video, taking care of problems with the TL. So cue the cinematics. Actually feels a million times better. Hey, sometimes he's got to lube up the short shifter. No ditty. That uh, there is no damage to the line, so good news. I didn't mess with any of this, guys. All we did was raise this. We lubed inside of here, lubed all the balls, and uh, we lubed inside of there and all the joints, and lubed on the cables where the shaft is going in and out right there right down there feeling a lot more loose and proper i still need to go down there and fix those cables but since it's already going to get late tonight and that was going to take the longest i'm going to do that another day if it goes in the gear smoother than before i feel a lot better as long as there's no damage to the cables right now because of the hot side i am not tripping just put this back together Next up guys, the rear progress sway bar. This is gonna help stiffen the corners. Not that I'm doing anything around corners crazy, but we want the car to handle better. Somebody mentions in the last video that your sway bar is only as strong as your end link. I don't have end links today. We're, gonna, we're just gonna install this today, but we will be getting end links very soon. Also comes with 
all the mounting and hardware. I'll put a link. I got this thing on Amazon, came in like two days. So good deal. 24 millimeter sway bar comes with the bushing, U-bracket lube. First thing we're gonna do is open the lube. We're just lubing today. Lube this up. Whoa. Right in there like that. We don't wanna hear this. Squeaking. Anybody interested in buying the setup? Cause I may go three inch full single. Anybody interested in buying this setup? $2,000 first come first serve. Just throwing it out there. If someone comes with 2000, it's all yours. I'll even detail it and shine it up for you. From the hot side of the turbo, we're gonna be going full three inch eventually this winter. This is probably the best sounding exhaust for a full motor build though. Highly recommend the True Duels. Do your guys' research, they don't make them no more. Rear sway bar up underneath here. Hopefully I'm able to twist and pull this thing out. We got 14s on the end links. We got 12 millimeter for the bushing. Valvoline VR1, quick oil change. I think this was like 35 at Walmart, not bad. The additive that we got from AutoZone was really dark. Oh, that's money, dude. TL is ready to tackle on tomorrow. Last thing to check is fuel level because I do not know if I have any more left of the race, but I think we're okay running premium as long as we're not doing poles or anything on it. Also, this came in today. We got a draggy from Amazon and we're gonna be using this very shortly in one of these POV drives one day. So make sure you guys are subscribed and have those post notifications on. A dyno session would be fun to make in the winter just to see what she makes. See if we got anything left. seats in and the uh, the trunk piece back together so it's nice and quiet the shifters feeling pretty good last five days I haven't been able to sleep guys very well uh, I just been trying to distract myself with stuff 
this is a big, big move for me. I mean, for anybody. But it has been six years now that I have been dating my girl. And tomorrow morning, we are going to take this car out and go for a nice drive. I'm going to take her somewhere. And the plan is right now to propose to her and uh, ask her to be my lifetime partner. And yeah, I'm, <laughs> this has been like, I, I don't even, the back of my head is telling me like I shouldn't be telling anybody because I've been holding this in for a while now. Uh, for some reason, I feel like I shouldn't be recording this, but maybe one day I want to look back and just hear how my voice sounded or just remember this drive, remember this feeling of freedom and singleness. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Tomorrow morning, I'll start recording again. Uh, I'll have the ring with me and I'm going to record just us taking the car out. The way I was able to set this up, guys, is that I have been begging for nice weather and to take the car out and film it before the days get too cold and wet and rainy, right? And so I asked for the day off last week and so I knew I had today off and it said, and all week it said it was supposed to be raining tomorrow and now it's been pushed to Saturday. So, sorry guys, weird drivers caught me off guard. Um, so anyways, I asked for the day off tomorrow, last week, and said it was supposed to be raining today, I'm like, I'm gonna make it happen, rain or shine, and then last minute, it says no rain tomorrow, and I'm like, sweet, I can take the car, I can film everything I want to, and it's gonna be a great day, so, you guys are seeing this now, you know it all went down, because I would not be telling you guys what's gonna go down right now, so that is the plan tomorrow, guys, yeah, stay tuned for the video. We're gonna take the car for a little POV driving. I'm not gonna get on it too much because it is far. We're working with three quarters of a tank and the drive is like an hour 15. We are almost home. For the rest of today's video, guys, I took my little brother out in the TL for the first time. What's happening, guys? Welcome back to the channel for the brand new Little Brothers TL. You guys remember this, right? Since we fixed it though, no problems. Running real good, real smooth, right? How's your car running? Really good. Yeah. Step on it, there you go. Throw that thing here, it's smooth. Haven't driven him in the TL yet, so we gonna give him the beans. We gonna Stay give it to him, no diddy. No diddy. <laughs> no well, baby. I hate when people overuse that joke. It's Everywhere, like so bro. old. Just remember the video we taught him how to drive stick? <laughs> Don't look at that video. Do not look up that video. <laughs> Taking bro on a little date with we gotta starlight. Get, we gotta get some, uh, get some starlight, star night. You, what do you want, some puffy? Hit up TK Auto Tech. Link in description below. I don't know if he's in stock or out of stock, but these things. Put it on there real quick. Hey. Boom. Anyways, let's get the show on the road. That's my little uh, fighter jet you guys hear. You hear it? You see it? Started hopping and I was like, ah! <laughs> I actually forgot you can walk again. Yeah, yeah, Alright, I got it. I was like, hey, cool. I ain't gotta like the game. I jumped out and started <laughs> hopping and I was like, wait, I can walk. Alright, get a thumbnail. Or like, or hold up. Oh, you see it? <laughs> <laughs> Where are we headed to? Downtown? No, you don't want to drive down there. Why not? What's down there? Stop and go, stop and go. Yeah, but there's more street lights. I can get some videos. So last time you drove in it is when we had the clutch issue. So we putted it around, couldn't get past 3,000 RPM. Yeah. This time, ready? Be in 
trouble tonight. I gotta get some clips. Are you gonna hit out this light? I'll do a little one. I never pull from first though. different car it don't even drive like your car anymore huh it don't drive stock at all listen Woo! I love those Pops and fire is what my heart desires. <laughs> Woo! Bro, you're just like me. You have a good idea and you go to say it and you mess up the first time. I do that I'm every like, time. Pops bro. and fire. I said I think pops and desire. I think it's my big lips. These big lips be dragging me down. I'd be talking too fast. I'm sure Benet loves it. Yeah. When y'all in the back, oh, never mind, there's no back. She never. <laughs> <laughs> she never really rides in this car anymore. Your, your forearms are like double body. I even came up with this car. <laughs> it was there for a second and gone. 